Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ellie. Okay, guys, we are getting to the last uh, um, week. Okay, so we are about ending this course, right? So I'm asking you and I am suggesting you trying to complete the exercises that you have in the platform, right? because all of them are important for you at the moment to get the scored. So they are going to say, depending on the activities that you have been working with, the final score is going to tell you if you have passed the course or not. Otherwise, also you need to take into account the attendance. Remember that the attendance uh, is basically another important aspect because uh, it represents like the half of the total um, um, percentage because it doesn't matter if you have gotten 10 in your uh, scores in all the exercises, maybe you have a 10, but if you have, you don't have the percentage the required time, amount of minutes to be in the class. So it means that you might fail that course and the other way around, right? You can be here, you can have the, sorry, 
you can have the 100% of attendance, but you have missed uh, the activities from the platform. Okay, so you need to have, you need to look for a balance from the activities that you have don't and also from the amount of uh, time that you have been here. Okay, after this, well, we are going to start with our 16th lesson. And uh, let's see. Uh, today we are going to be working a lot related to accounting. For today's class, we have uh, mainly this is our topic, that is accounting. Maybe we are familiar with it or maybe we are not familiar, but um, the vocabulary required for this uh, it is going to tell you if you have ever uh, practiced it. Okay. Let's see. How much do you know about accounting? How much do you know about accounting? Mm. Nothing? <laughs> A bit? Eh. Material thing. Okay, accounting. Okay, what is accounting? Contabilidad. Uh -huh. How much do you know about it? Zero. Zero. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> no lo olvidé. <laughs> <laughs> Something that you studied there in high school. Okay, I can't hear. general era. Oh, well. Well, you didn't want to. Okay, let me just look for the material. And it is because I want to share this with you. Since I am sure that we don't know anything about accounting, I have here the historic background of accounting. This is information about ancient, okay? Years ago, we have here the, um, how did it started, okay? So, I am going to read just for you to have an idea, but I'm not going to read it in this moment. I'm going to read it after having certain vocabulary from this. This is a very short paragraph, very short paragraph, as you can see here, right? It is just not even one page. Accounting, believe it or not, we practice accounting every single day in our houses. We do it. The problem is that we don't practice in the in the in the company. That is another story. But in an informal way, everyone, everyone uh, is involved with the accounting process. Because uh, if you are in your house, you need to take into consideration different aspects about the incomes, about the money that you receive and the way that you are going to distribute that money. Okay, or don't you practice that when you are paid? Yes. Okay, when you receive your money, then you say, okay, I am going to uh, see the way that I'm going to organize these incomes, this payment. And then you are going to see which aspects are more important or if you have enough incomes or not. So in our houses daily, we practice our canteen. I can bet it. Okay, guys. 
What we are going to do with this, it is that from the whole vocabulary, from the whole vocabulary, you are going to look only five words. Only five words, the ones that you consider are like the most difficult for you. Only five words, but you need to look for the definition of them as in a glossary, right? But only five words. I don't want more than five. I know that you might say, no, maybe I want to have 25. Not only five. <laughs> only five, no more than that. So. I will uh, share this material. I'm gonna try to upload it to the chat box. Give me a second. Give me a second. Can you see it? Do you have the material in the chat box? Mm -hmm. Can you see Wait it? Wait a moment. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is what I am showing you in this only moment. One it is, it is only one, this, it is only one. That's what I'm telling you that it is short. But from the whole vocabulary, I want you to look for five words as in a glossary and to look for the definitions. In the, oh, this, this page. From this page, from this page, only five words. And after, okay. after, after that, I want you to write down one example in context, in context here, but in a different context from what you have. Another sentence where you are going to be the owners. Okay, so definition and one example from the five words. But let me see. We are 15 participants, but I don't know if everyone is going to be involved in this. Let me see. Teacher, okay. eh, sorry, yes. yo, soy como, yo soy como oyente, pero puedo participar en, en grupos. Rose, okay. Thank you, Rose. Yes. Okay. Okay, so tengo Berta, tengo Rose, Elsa. Elsa, Jennifer, good okay, good evening, Jennifer, okay, you can participate, right, Jennifer, or can you, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try to make in this moment the different teams, okay, oh, okay, sorry, I I have a problem with my microphone because I'm going to But I guess so. Okay. <laughs> I thought that you were going to say that you were not going to be able. Okay. We have Rose. We have Berta. And we have Adilson. Yes. Are you going to work? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. And Adilsa, you three. Then I have another team um, with uh, Matthew. Are you going to work? Present. Yes. Okay. So we have Matthew, um, Osvaldo. Yes. Okay, good. And Jennifer. This is the second team. And then we have... Uh, um, 
Kerin? Yes, here. Are you going to participate? Yes. Okay, Elsie? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Jessica Rodriguez? Are you going to participate? No? Okay. In Patricia Alvarado, are you going to participate? No. Okay. And Wilfredo? Neither, right? Okay. So, mm, hace un momentito escribió que va en camino, que viene, que va para su casa. Wilfredo. Sí. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, Elsie. Bueno. Okay, so we have uh, <clears throat> three different teams. Rose, Adilson, Elsie, Kerin, and Jennifer, Matthew, and Osvaldo. Okay, so five different terms with their definition and also with one example, right? The most, the most difficult ones, the ones that you feel that you don't understand just by reading them in the first time, okay? Okay. Sure. Yo, yes, yo me iba conectando. Okay, you no have. To, okay, check in the chat box, please. Check in the chat sí, box. Eso sí, descargué okay. ya. El... Okay, the material. This is the material related to the um uh historic background about accounting because for today's class. Uh, our topic, it is based on accounting. So we are going to read this material and we are going to take five words, like the, the most difficult words for you from this article. And you are going to look for the definition like a glossary. And then you are going to write down one example. The purpose okay. of this is just to get involved with the uh, topic, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. So let me see. Let us go and work for a while, please. Teacher, me sacó de la clase. Hasta ahorita me volvió a meter. Me puso en algún grupo. In number one, I'm going to resend you. Yes. Okay. Let me check. I did it. Esa la puse yo también. también. Yo también. No, esa no. Yo ya hice la cinco, pero no sé. Eso tengo sí. yo. Si gustan, para que eh, podemos hacer 
dos cada uno y después damos los ejemplos. Porque también hay que ser un ejemplo, dijo. Pero entonces, ¿dónde vamos a buscar el significado? Yo creí que ella nos iba a explicar qué era cada palabra. No, no, no. Tiene que ir a googlearlo. ¿Qué significa? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Porque yo tengo tres. Una de esas es la que puso Rose. Ah, pues hay si que quiere... buscamos los ejemplos entonces. Sí, por ejemplo, esa palabra... La esa es la otra que nos Ajá. Uh Struggle. -huh. Struggle. Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher me sacó la plataforma. Está en el grupo. En el grupo uno con Berta, ¿verdad? Sí. Y no se ha dicho. Okay, okay, in this moment, let me. Ya la encontré. I have already sent you. También Jennifer. No, no, es trouble, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Neverless. Nice. Y accomplish. Su name from Struggle. Neverless. Neverless. Accomplish. Creo que y qué significa vacuna y for no eso sí no sé. La primera es renacenti, renacenia, no, ajá. Renacimiento, ¿verdad? Renacimiento. Pero esa de Kuna. Sí, como luchó en la otra, el struggling.
que la, no la conozco. No. No. Mm -mm. A ver, espérame. Ajá, ajá. Yes, sí, conocidas. Ok. Y luego, eh, suma de aritmética, geometría, eh, proposed time, en proposed time, esta si no sé cómo se pronuncia. Proportionality. Proportionality. Pro, pro, Proportionality. Uh -huh. No, no. Have you finished, guys? Have you finished? Yes, teacher. We need... yes teacher. Yes? Okay. 
Yes. Simultaneously. 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 Okay. Okay, guys, be ready, please. We're coming back. Okay, now that we are here, here. I would like to uh, check the vocabulary that was like the most unknown for you. For example, team number one, which were those five words? La escribimos. Yes, yes, in the chat box, tell us which were the most unknown words for you. Yeah. 
I completed Neverland. Será que podemos pasar a la sala a la dinaes? Okay, from the vocabulary that you have gotten, I am reading them. And uh, even though this is only the word, uh, for sure you have the definition for them, right? Okay, so I would like to listen, uh, for example, from the first team, one definition from the five that you uh, chose. Team number one was <laughs> Okay, yes, yes. Berta did one, okay? Struggled. Struggled. Okay, struggle. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Struggle. Struggle. Struggled. Struggled. That's it. Struggled. Then, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Okay. What, uh, what I, I can see here that you look for translation, but it is not the definition. It is not the same. Uh, okay. Translation is to look for the Spanish equivalent, but the definition it is to look for um, the whole bunch of words trying to explain the same word, but in English. Es que no lo encontré, si mi teléfono no puede hacer mucho. Okay. Okay, to talk. Okay, the same did, some of you did the same. Ne nevertheless, you are saying, Significa, but I am not asking for translation, guys. Okay? But at least you did something, but it is not, I need to make this clear, okay? As Rosa has done, for example, Rosa has written, bedwork, it is decorative, decorative work made of beds, feather, any of the appendages growing from a Bird skin informing its plumage. That is description, not translation, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have different. Okay, any other any other team that oops the first attendance? I've got my alarm. Hora de la asistencia. Yes, that's it. Okay, so just be ready, please. This is the first time for attendance. Okay, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Presente, present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. 
Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Present teacher. My goodness. Carlina Loreli Navarro Ruiz. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Mateo, oh no, Maximiliano Donay Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, that was the first time for our attendance. Now we are going to continue with our reading about the historic background of a content. Okay, so some of you have underlined different words, right? The first one that appears in here, it is struggled. I'm gonna try to read it for you and then we are going to practice it. Even though we are, you are not going to read it all, um, at least uh, we're going to practice some paragraphs, right? Let's see, it says, historic background of accounting. Man, since early times, has struggled to satisfy his requirements for making a living. Little by little, these requirements became greater and the interchange of goods among individuals was necessary. As a result of this, trading began to appear. Simultaneously, numerical records of some kind began to rise too. Evidence of the above statements are the discoveries made by archaeologists such as bricks inscribed in cuneiform characteristics. It is not cuneiform, let me see it. This is cuneiform, okay? characters in Babylon, detailed accounts from four farms and states in Greece. Ram and the Chiviot ruled Moctezuma in pre-Columbian North America, in North America. This role gives an account in a pictorial way of bedwork, feather work, weapons, and food, which constituted the Chivit of other Mexican nation to Moctezuma. Nevertheless, these and many similar records are not accounting records in the modern sense. Accounting from the modern accountant's point of view really began with the development of the commercial republic of Italy. Massari of Genoa in 1340s was the first to keep double entry books. This information being contained in Edward Pelagog's book, Origin and Evolution of Double Bookkeeping. However, the first printed text containing accounting and including the double entry system now to access is the is of Luca Pacioli, 1445-1514. Uh, Pacioli was a true representative of scientific culture 
at the time of Italian reigns. He taught at monasteries, university, and royal courts. Um, and he wrote the book in 1494. Some centuries later, in 1776, the Industrial Revolution arose beginning in Great Britain. A series of invasions in a large number of industry took place. It then became necessary to improve accounting techniques and systems and establish new ones. At present, changes in political and economical organization based upon the interests and needs of society have given rise to an important increase in technology. So far as accounting is concerned, a new system of data processing based on accounting principles and accomplished by means of electronics computers has been used in recent years. Data is a synonym, synonym for handling. Nowadays, a great number of institutions of various types use this system. So as you can see here, these are the origins from a content. Since this is the base, then we have more and more vocabulary related to this. It says that it was the first time when the, uh, the, the, the word like double entry book, it was used. So since then, we have had um, more and more uh, vocabulary related to different areas. In this uh, part, it is just related to a context, the historical background in a general way. Because if we started like checking word by word from the technical English, we might have here around three or 400 new words that we need to practice, right? But I said, this is not a pronunciation class and that's what I'm not going to ask you because it is a little bit uh, for reading, it takes your time. But what we have to do is, and this is going to be like something um, personal. This is, if you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want to do it, you don't do it. That's the point, right? That for you is, you're going to start reading, for example, the first paragraph. We're going to practice just with the first paragraph. Only this one, it is really short. But what we're gonna do is that you have to read it the most natural way as possible. It means that your intonation and the rhythm that you are going to, to read it, it has to be something natural. It doesn't mean that you are not going to uh, have different kinds of pronunciation. Of course, you can include and the pronunciations can vary. But the rhythm, the rhythm and the fluency are the ones that we need to emphasize. Since this is just one paragraph, this is what we are going to do, okay? Um, it says, listen, I'm gonna read again just the first paragraph and I would like you to take my time. Take my time, please, with your phones. Take my time. I'm not gonna run. Tell me when you're ready for taking my time. Hello, teacher. Now? Ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it says, Man, since early time, has struggled to satisfy his requirements for making a living. Little by little, these requirements became greater and the interchange of goods among individuals was necessary. 15? 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. 
That's it. I was not running. I was not saying man since early time was a struggle to satisfy the requirements of it. No, I was not running. I was trying to read the complete words. Man, since early times, I you need to listen many times, has struggled to satisfy his requirements. You need to listen letter S for making a living. Letter by letter, comma, these requirements became greater and the interchange of goods among individuals was necessary. So all those little aspects are the ones that we need to take into consideration at the moment that you are going to read. Because sometimes when we are reading, we just avoid to read the complete word. And we just read like <clears throat> the very uh, first part. And we say, man since early time has struggled to satisfy to satisfy his requires making a living little, little by little, this requirement became great and the chain of good among individual was necessary. All the endings with S or ED, los desaparecemos. And that is not the purpose, okay? So, <clears throat> First volunteer for reading, 15 seconds. I'm going to try. Come on, come on. Okay, Elsie. Thank you. Okay, but but let me let me take your time, okay? I'm going to reset here. Okay, Elsie. Time. Man, since early times has struggled to satisfy his requirements. For making a living, little by little, these requirements become greater, and the interchange of goods among individuals was necessary. 18 seconds. Okay, very good. Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, Jennifer and then Osvaldo, okay? Jennifer okay. and then Osvaldo, okay? Okay. Okay, Jennifer, go ahead. Time. Okay, men, since early times has a struggle to satisfy his requirement for making a living, little by little, these requirements become greater and interchange of good, goods among individuals was necessary. Okay, 19, almost 20 seconds. Okay, Jennifer, we need to emphasize, for example, uh, in this uh, sense. Since. 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 Okay, I'm sorry, but. Struggle. <laughs> me distraje con el camión. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Struggled. 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 Uh, okay. Requirements. Requirements. Okay. Greater. Greater. Interchange. Interchange. That's it. Do you want okay, to try it again? Teacher. Do you want to okay. try it again? Okay, let us do it. Men, since early time since, has this true. Since, since, since early time. Since. Okay, again, <laughs> okay, again, again, again. Go ahead. Men, since early time has struggled to satisfy his requirements, requirements for making Required. a living, little Requirements. by little. Requirements, Jennifer. Requirements. That's it, okay. that's it, that's it again. Okay. These requirements become greater and interchange of goods among individual was necessary. That's the point, okay? Very good, very good, Jennifer. Okay. <clears throat> now, Osvaldo. Men. Since early times, has struggled to satisfy his requirements for making a living. Little by little, these requirements became greater, and the interchange of goods among individuals was necessary. 
Good. Fifteen seventy nine. Good. Very good, Osvaldo. Who else? As a result of this, okay. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay, no, no, only that. No, I mean, okay, I'm not okay. a volunteer. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Si solo he practicado el primero. No es cierto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Reading the first paragraph. That is what we are doing. Okay. Oh, let me see. Okay. We have our uh, well roast. Um, Adilson, do you want to try? Yes. Adilson and Karen. And Rose, if you can. Yes. Okay, first Adilson and then Rose. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Man seems early time has a strong. Okay, to... early times. Early times. Los voy a interrumpir Man... cuando haga falta eso. Early times. Okay. Man Again. Since. My, my since. Early time has a struggle to satisfy his requirement for making a living little by little. That requirement became greater in the interchange of goods among in individuals who was necessary. Okay, thank you very much. 23 seconds. This, this, don't worry about time. I'm just telling you, right? But don't worry about that. These, these, these. Okay, okay, that's it. These. Y tenemos que poner un poquito de énfasis a my dear Adilson en los endings que llevan S. Okay, porque no me los menciona. No me los menciona. Okay, 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 good. Rose, your time. Okay. Pero le voy a borrar eso por si estamos leyendo de acá, ¿ok? Ok. Go ahead. Men, since, every time. Since, 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 since. since, 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 since. Ok, men, nuevo, de nuevo, de nuevo. Okay, okay. Men, since, early times has struggled to satisfy his requirement for making a living. Little by little, this requirements became greater, greater and the interchange of goods among individuals was necessary. Okay, 17 and 69. Okay, you let me see. Greater. Greater. Yes. Greater. Repeat. Greater. Greater. Como que va a decir great. Okay, great. Great. Greater. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Greater. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, this is the way that we are going to practice like a pronunciation. Then the second paragraph, the third, the fourth. But here we are not going to do it. You have to do it in your house little by little. One paragraph after another one. Of course, you're not going to uh, have and you're not going to 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 read it all here. But that's what I said. If you want, you can practice just for reading in your house. And now we are going to see some terms that are related to accounting, but now we have them in the book. In the book we have, I'm going to share now the book. Let me see. Let me find out the book. Okay, there it is. In the book, we have these terms. And then it says accounting. 
a canteen and we need to match these terms uh, with that description. This is the description. This is what I was uh, telling you to do. For example, if you don't know how to say or what is uh, one term specifically, uh, for example, I have cash flow. Which of this description do we think it goes with the cash flow? Reports on the changes retained, reports of companies' assets, reports on companies' incoming, or summarizes the company's incomes. That is what we need to understand in this moment. Again, we need to see. Um, I know that the first thing that we do, it is translation. Y lo que queremos es saber qué dice en español. That is a good try. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. That is okay. But the second step, cuando usted ya haya entendido qué es, because you are going to look for it in Spanish, I know, I am sure, then, of course, we can get the definition of them, right? So, in this case, look for it, and then you are going to try to match the definition in English. Of course, this is just matching, okay? Can you do it, please? I'm going to give you around three minutes here. Here, everyone can do it. And then we are going to answer through the chat box the correct ones. Okay? I don't understand. Match. Word okay. and definition. That is the only thing. Matching. Okay.
When you're ready, just let me know. Ready. No. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Finish. Okay. Okay, we have cash flow, income statements, equity statements, and balance sheet. For number one, we have that they are reports on the changes and retain earnings of company during the stated period. For number two, we have that there are some reports, accompanying assets, liabilities, and honors quality at a given point in time. Reports number three, reports on the company's incoming and outcoming of cash. It's operating, investigating, and financing activities. And number four, summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. This now is tell me, Now tell me, for number one, which one do you consider goes here? A, B, C, or D? For number one. For number one. E equity statements. Statement. Okay. E equity? Equity uh -huh. statement. Equity statement. So for you, 
This is letter C. What about the others? I agree. You, you, I agree. No, letter B for me. Okay, so you see it is letter B. From a statement. Okay. Any other option? C, B, only. Okay. Letter C. C. Okay, so many of you. No, D. D. Okay, so, so we have D, another option. C, B, C, D. Okay. I'm going to give me B, B, C, D. I'm going to write it down better here. B, C, B. D. Okay. For number two? Letter B. Letter B. D. D. Letter C for me. D. Letter C. C. Letter C. Okay. Now number three. Number two. Letter D. B. Okay. D. D. B. A. B. Okay. Letter B. A. A. Letter B. Letter C. Letter A. B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Number four. <laughs> what do we have? Letter B. Letter B. B. Letter A. B. Letter A. B. <laughs> B. D is letter D. B. Okay. No, B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that is that is the result that we have. Now let us check which is the correct answer, right? Let us okay. go. Let's see. <laughs> see, okay. Oh. Yes. No. Okay. Okay, you got them yes. correct? Okay. The yes. Correct. okay. Yes. Okay. Only two. Only two. <laughs> Okay. Me too, only two. Only two. Only, two. <laughs> only okay. three and four for me. <laughs> okay. So, uh, since this is just a vocabulary related to accounting, okay, of course, we need to understand what the, the, the technical meaning, right? Because this is technical English. Because we need to know, for example, what is incoming, outcoming, uh, investing, um, what else? The profit expenses. Okay, those terms are the ones that we need to understand first. If we don't understand them, it becomes a little bit complicated with this. Okay, now that we have this, we have, uh, let me see. I've changed. This this is what I wanted to have. There, is, there are some questions that we have in our book that it says, for example, the first question is, I cannot do this. The, the first, uh, it is not a question. It is just a matter of opinions or discussion, right? Because this is, depends from what you think. Number one, it says, it is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. The first thing I was talking to is, what is the meaning of incomes or outcomes? Entradas y salidas. Okay. Entradas y salidas de efectivo. Okay. So do you think that is this something important for the companies? Yes. Very yeah. important. 
Important. Always. Yeah, always. always. Now, the second, not the second question. Do you do you register the incomes and outcomes in your house? Yes, me too. From your personal budget? Yes. It is family important, budget. right? Yeah, the family budget. Okay, so it is important. Why? Why it is important? Resérvense la respuesta porque esa sí la van a ir a hacer with your team. Why is it important to have the income in English? Not in English. That's why. That's why. You want to do it in team. In English. So think about the answers that you're going to do. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. What do you think about this? Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carry such actions to save the company. What is the meaning for fired? Despedido. Despedir. Uh -huh. That's it. So last year, a company's owners fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. What do you think? you're going to discuss with your classmates. And number three, it is mandatory for everyone to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. What do you think? It's very important. Is it, it has to be something mandatory? or not for everyone? Yeah. Mandatory. Okay, mandatory, okay? So that is what you are going to say. Vamos a discutir esto en los equipos y cuando regresen solo me van a dar the answers from the three of them. Okay, for example, you are going to say something. Well, we think that it is not that important to know about the incomes or incomes because uh, if you, okay, if you have uh, all your accounts they are registered, so you don't need to take too many, too much information about this. Any answer, it is correct. But I want to see the way that you are going to organize your ideas. This is the exercise four. I want you to organize your idea and present it as a team. Yes? Okay. Yes. So now we are going to uh, do it. Let me see. Yes, I'm going to interchange. I'm going to recreate them again. Oh, but I did it. Let me see. Now I'm not going to recreate because I did it manually. <laughs> so you keep working the same teams, okay?
Lo que pasa es que digamos que para una empresa es tan importante las entradas y las salidas porque con las entradas, obviamente de dinero y todo eso, vos podés ir manejando la empresa, ¿va? pero también tenés que controlar las salidas porque entre más gast si gastas más de lo que estás generando, no es un negocio. Exacto, es como encontrar el punto de equilibrio de economía. Ajá. Now, how do you say that in English? <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> good ideas, good. You have understood the point. Now, how do you say it in English? The two are important. <laughs> okay. Two. Both, to have a, both to have are important, a, both, we can say that, both. 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 Eso es ambas. Ambas, both. Okay. both. Both. Both are important to have a balance Ajá. between income and outcome. Okay, Bitcoin dice ahí en la traducción. <laughs> 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 okay, that is good, okay. Now continue with the other one. Uh, the second, I think, is uh, the thing the owner made or do, did, did, was good because it is a form to save your, your company and he can give give work to other persons if if the if the company broke uh -huh. anybody anybody have a job uh -huh. so it is better to fire a few than yeah than the whole staff yeah <laughs> Okay, good. That is what you think. What about the others? What do you think? I see God on Eso pienso yo, porque es necesario saber cuánto, de cuánto se dispone al final. Sí, igual creo que es necesario saber cuánto dinero me queda libre. ¿no? Uh -huh. Ahora el reto es, how do you say that in English? Uh, just because it's necessary to know money free. And now, money free, no. <laughs> to, to know. Uh -huh. Money of, of spent. Spent. Uh -huh. But why? No, pero, no, uh -huh. pero sería... Just because it's necessary to know. Money, really? We have. No. How do you say disponible al, uh, about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Try to help each other. Try to help okay. each other. Por eso, in this moment, you can use your Google Translator, your translator, all, all the resources that you have. Yes, because it's okay. necessary to know money.
Have you finished the three of them? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Voy a añadir eso. Okay, now I would like to listen uh, the answers for uh, this. Okay? Uh -huh. Number one. Okay. It is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company ha has. Is it important or not? Yes. Why? Because it's necessary to know about the really resource of the company with result. Aha, uh -huh. and the other team? What about the other team? Elsis? I don't remember. <laughs> the, uh, uh, we, we, <laughs> so it means that you. Didn't I don't remember that, that we need what well, we write, but I I can't remember that. I think <laughs> the ideas. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's the it's very important because uh, is it the move movement movimientos that no puedo decir todo sin inglés <laughs> ajá y no que para eso estaban practicando pues y no que Me iban que a notar, la pues ah. <laughs> <laughs> ok you need to take care pues of the vocabulary can you help me please <laughs> ok uh, yes. ajá yes ajá it is very important for an entity uh, to know its balance point and generate uh, profit and, bueno, no sé cómo decir, y, no, y generar ganancias y no pérdidas. Mm. Generate, uh, earning? And generate. Earnings? Earn, uh, earnings. And... Uh. No losses. <laughs> <laughs> Sabine, you didn't take notes. You didn't take notes. Uh -huh. Okay, what is profit? Beneficios. Okay. Okay, now let us answer question number two. Last year, it is not question. And I continue saying that. Okay, this is like a case. Last year, companies under five many people, the owner carried such actions to save the company. What do you think about it? Uh, it's better to fire some workers than all workers. Okay, it is better to fire a few couple <laughs> of workers than all workers, okay? You sacrifice them, so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What about the other team? Uh, 
It is, it no, is solution now. Because it's other alternative. Alternative. Can you repeat it? It is no solution because it exists other alternative. I cannot understand it very well. I don't know why. Okay, can you repeat? Okay. It is saying it is no solutions because exists other alternatives. Ah, because there are some other alternatives, such as Mm. Uh, <laughs> but that is what the, he has done to fire some of them. <laughs> low cost. Low cost. Oh, yes. Okay. Number three. Is it mandatory for everyone to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent? Do you think that it has to be something mandatory? Yes. Why, Adilson? Yes, because it's necessary to know money available. Okay, the available money that you have. Yes, the yes. The available cash that you have. Yes, yes, yes. What about the other team? It's necessary to know the prof the profits to know how much can be invested invested, or so as not to generate losses. Okay. Losses. Uh, the second <laughs> Okay. What is the pronunciation? Los pérdidas. Los. If it is okay. in plural, yes. If it okay. is in singular, only last. Oh, the second alarm. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm going to stop it. Okay. Um... In this, um, in the first two questions, I want you to pay attention in two words. In the first one, one word, and in the second one, another word. I have here, in the first one, I have the word, so. It is not so important to know about the incomes. And in the second one I have, such. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carry, carried such actions to save the company. These two words, have something um, important in the sentence, which is like the main uh, purpose of them. So and such. What is the meaning of so? Can. And what is the meaning of such? Be, to be perp. Such, no. Verb to be. No, it is not the verb to be. Okay. So, because we, we have to. Mm. No. Okay, when Time. we do. When, when you are thinking like uh, in the context, you didn't you didn't pay attention at the moment when we were discussing this, 
You didn't pay attention in every single detail of the question. You just answer, but how did you understand what the meaning of the whole statement? How did you understand? Just by heart? Or because, or you didn't understand, but you got the idea? I got the idea. Okay, you got the idea, right? So we have the usage of so, and also we have the usage of such. Are similar. Okay. I have this two here. In the first one, I have so, and in the second one, I have uh, such. And uh, what do we have? What do we have in here? For example, in the first one, so it says that I am going to use the word so, but next to it, plus, I am going to include an adjective. And then, what is the meaning of so? Very. And that very can be positive or very. even it can be negative. For example, that food was so that delicious. Food. So delicious. So, so plus adjective. So plus adjective. And the meaning is very, and it can be positive or negative. What is the meaning in this sentence? It is something positive or it is something negative? Positive. positive. It is positive that food was so delicious, but when, when you are saying so delicious, you are saying that food was very delicious. But instead of saying very delicious, we are going to say so delicious. No. Okay. Then I have another example. My coworkers, my coworkers, are so nice, are so nice, my coworkers. And instead of saying, my coworkers are very nice, very nice. Positive or negative? Positive. Okay, another positive. Then I have the third one. That smell was so awful. What that is smell, awful? Eh, that smell, oh, okay. that smell, that smell was so eh, awful. Very awful. Positive or negative? Negative. Negative. How did you understand that it was negative? Because of my face and my intonation, right? <laughs> Next. It is so cold today. It is so cold today. Positive or negative? Negative. For me, negative. Okay. I don't like cold. <laughs> okay. You don't like. I prefer... I prefer cold that hot. That's why I don't like the beach. <laughs> I don't like it. Me too. Yeah, me, me neither. Me neither. Cuando me es algo, neither. Okay, cuando es algo positivo, we can say me too. But okay. when it is something negative, 
I can say, this is informal, of course. I can say, me <coughs> neither. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so I have I have used so plus adjective. So delicious, so nice, so awful, so cold. And the purpose of using it, it is very, very. It is not like the food was delicious. No, you wanted to emphasize and then you wanted to say the food was so delicious. Okay? So that is what we are doing. In the end, we have such. What is the meaning of such? Very. Very. Is it so significa very? Both of them means very, very and very? Yes. Yes. The difference is what follows because we use such, but sometimes I can have an article. It can be a, after that I have an adjective and after that I have a noun. So such has more structure uh, words with so, we only need so adjective, so delicious, so nice, so awful. But when we are using is such, we need more vocabulary. So I'm going to use article, adjective, and noun. And the meaning is going to be the same, but it can be positive or negative. Let us try to identify in this one. That was such delicious food. Such delicious food. Cuando las cosas sean like countable, right? Um, and in singular countable, we are going to use a. Such. We are going to say, but if I don't have a singular countable, I'm going to say such delicious food. My co-workers are such nice people. This is in plural. That's why I am not using a, only when it is in singular. Then, that was such an, aquí apareció en el artículo, miren, awful smell. An awful smell. So it means that is, you have written it like uh, one other, one other, such as, an awful smell, okay? Like other. ¿Por qué puse an y no a? Because the next word start to with with, with uh, um, vowel. 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 vowel 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 letter a that is a vowel, okay? That a is the vowel. reason. That is why I said an and not a. And the last one, it is such a cold day. One day. How come yeah. cold? So, si las dos significan very, what is the difference? Si so significa very and such significa very, what is the difference? The structure that you can use. 
Okay, the follow words, the following words. Okay, so it means after, whenever you're going to say so, you need to understand that you're going to have an adjective. But if you're going to use such, it means that maybe you are going to have an article, you're going to have an adjective, and also you're going to have a noun. Such, article noun. Such, uh, adjective noun. This is, I said article, no, adjective and noun. Such, article, adjective and noun. Such, article, adjective and noun. That is the order that we have to follow. That is the difference between both contexts. Now let's see. Let's see. It says, so my time in Venice was so good. ¿Se recuerda la estructura? Después del so, ¿qué seguía? Adjective. An adjective. So in here, so good. Good is the adjective. Then, such. I had such a good time in Venice. Such. ¿Qué es esto? Article. 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 Adjective. Adjective. No. And now. You see? In both the meaning is very. My time in Venice was very good. I had a very good time. It is much. It is created. You put it in a higher way. Now, I have these exercises and we are going to finish with this. I'm going to, I'm going to, yes, we are going to work with that. Give me a second because I need to erase. Y le toman captura de pantalla a esto, pero cuando esté limpito, ok? Okay, now, uh, uh, a screenshot for you? Yes. Okay, yes. now, what it is going to be the answer for all of them? She does. I don't know, okay, but you have to answer every single uh, aspect. Now, every single uh, detail, analyze the following words. After, after the word, you need to analyze what goes later. This is the homework assignment for tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Homework assignment for tomorrow. But do it. No me vayan a decir mañana, ¡Ay, se me olvidó! Porque les pongo más. Okay? No, indeed, we are going to practice because this is just uh, a bit about this. But we are going to practice a little bit more tomorrow. Okay, so you have it ready, right? You have this ready. Okay. Just let me look. Do you have any questions so far? Mm, ahorita no. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop sharing and just let me look for the attendance again. I don't know what or how have I activated the closed caption. Okie dokie.
Okay. How come? ¿Cómo van con, con las tareas de la plataforma? Mañana I'm going to check them. Okay. I'm going Semana to check at, at the very beginning. Week one, it has to be complete. Week two, it has to be completed. Week three, it has to be completed. Three weeks. Complete. Okay. Complete. Okay, guys. Yes, because we are missing just these exercises. Complete okay. the, the homework 12. Okay. Okay. I, uh, we have to have 15. We have to have 15. Okay, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac. Chávez Hernández. Siempre confundo a Kerin con Eric. I don't know why. I don't know. Ah. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. Adilson, José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Renberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, teacher. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Yes, here. Present. Ok. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michel Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present teacher. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Ok. Okay, guys, so who has sent a message? Okay. Okay, guys, so that's all for today's class. Thank you very much for participating and see you tomorrow. And we are missing only four days. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care.